Hello everyone, it's Prajal Patek this side and you're watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, in the last tutorial of this series, we created the cell classes which currently store all the edges of themselves. Okay. And so that we don't have to remember their edges. Okay. They will remember it themselves. Okay. Uh, we have a list which will store the position of their edges in themselves. Okay. And suppose we want to draw a list. We just have to make any of their values to be true. Okay. And they will be drawn automatically. That's it. Now what we want is we want our player to make this thing, make this choice which edge he want to draw. Okay. So for this, first of all, let's learn how can we check which uh, cell or which thing we are currently, uh, which key we are currently pressing. Uh, before that, I want to draw one more thing. Uh, suppose if you click somewhere on the screen, I want to know which cell has been clicked, and I will store that cell in a variable called C cell, which will uh, which means current cell okay so c cell which is current cell so here we can do it very easily we can just store this let me just cut this line we will just store the position of our cell in this cell where c cell variable which will means it is the current cell which has been selected okay? again if the c cell has some value in it if it's not none then we can just draw this line we can just run it once again to see which of these cells have been clicked. If I click here, uh, there's some issue. It's not working correctly. Okay, it's not working perfectly. Let's see why it's not working. And okay, it's just a minor bug here. Uh, we have to just make it C cell, not cell. Okay, so C cell dot reg dot center x and C cell dot reg dot center y will do the job okay now the next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to know which of their cells has been drawn which of their edges has been drawn let me just run this once to show you and then we'll move further okay so if i just click here uh, it looks good it looks good okay so we are able to select a particular cell okay now the way i want to draw these lines is that once we are inside a cell we can just press any of the arrow keys to draw the edges suppose if i press this above up arrow key this particular edge will be drawn. If I press the right arrow key, this edge will be drawn. If I press down arrow key, this will be drawn. And if I press left arrow key, this will be drawn. Okay. So before that, uh, we need to know which of our arrow keys has been clicked. So it's kinda easy. Uh, we are just going to do it inside the event handling part. But before that, we want to create few variables here. And initialize all of them with false. Up equals false. And then right equals false bottom equals false uh, and then the left equals false okay so if we click any of the arrow keys uh, one of these variables will become true automatically again we can do the event handling part here let me just not print the position okay so if we can just do the event handling here or uh, we can check with which key has been pressed here if event dot type equals pi game dot uh, key button down Sorry, uh, I not button down. Uh, sorry, key down. Okay, inside it we can check which of the keys has been clicked. Okay, so if even dot key is equal to pi game dot k up, it means if the up arrow key is clicked, then our up variable will become true. That's it, and let me just copy these lines and paste it here. Okay, so if let's say right arrow button is clicked, our right variable will become true. Okay, similarly, if uh, down arrow button is clicked, our bottom variable will become true. If left arrow button is clicked, our left variable will become true. So it's right here. Uh, it's bottom and it's left similarly if we just remove our hands or if we just unclick a button uh, I want to make all of these variables to be false once again okay so we can just do it like this uh, instead of true I want to just make it false when we unclick our button uh, instead of key down we have to check for key up Okay, 
तो की डाउन मीन वी आर प्रेसिंग अ बटन की अप मीन्स वी हैव जस्ट अनक्लिक डेट बटन ओके और जस्ट रिमूव अवर हैंड्स फ्रॉम डेट बटन सो दिस इज इट कैन जस्ट प्रिंट द वैल्यू ऑफ अप लेट सी आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू प्रिंट द वैल्यू ऑफ अप हियर if i print uh, the up arrow key up will <coughs> will print true so it's printing true when i click the up arrow key okay it, it looks good now what we have to do is uh, when we press the up arrow key we have to make the up edge of our cell selected cell to be true currently it's false we'll just make it true okay once it becomes true this update method will automatically draw this edge on our screen so let's do it we are just going to do it inside here currently i want to store the index of my a cell in a variable called index you can store it like this e cell dot index we have this index here okay we have defined this index here we are just storing our index in a variable called c cell dot uh, index okay now the next thing is if we have clicked the up arrow key i want to draw or i want to make our c cells c cell dot sides remember this is a tuple storing the values false currently it is true false so if arrow up arrow is clicked i want to make this value true if right is clicked i want to make this value true if bottom is clicked or down is clicked i want to make this value true and if left is clicked i want to make this value true that's what we are going to do here If a arrow is clicked, I want to make the zeroth value of this to be true. You can just do it like this, simple. So it looks good. Now uh, let me show you one problem. Okay, so currently we are just doing it for up arrow. So if I just click here and if I press the up arrow key, its edge is drawn. Okay. If I click here and if I press up arrow key, it's drawn. If I click here, if I press up arrow key, it is drawn. Okay. Let's do it for bottom. If right, and let me just copy this line. So our first value will become two. Let me just copy these lines. If right, and then down, I want to make the second value to be two. If uh, left, I want to make the third value to be two. It looks good. If I just run this, uh, all the four uh, these will work now. Uh, we have some issue here. Uh, sorry, it's bottom. It's not down here. If I just run this again, uh, I'll be able to complete it. Okay, so it looks good. We are able to create uh, things. Uh, but this one thing that I want to draw your attention to. Suppose if I click a arrow key here. So you see, its up arrow is drawn. Uh, up above is or the top edge is drawn. At the same time, the cell above it, its bottom edge is also drawn. Okay, so we have to keep this thing in mind. Suppose if I click here and if I click right arrow key, this edge is drawn. But at the same time, this arrow, uh, the cell on the right of it, its left uh, edge is also drawn automatically. Okay, so we have to keep this thing in mind. That's why I have stored the index of it. Currently, we know the index of the cell which we have clicked. So, if we click the up arrow key, what we want to do is, uh, suppose uh, let me just run this again and show you. So, first of all, if I click here and if I just click up arrow key, uh, the this above edge is drawn. At the same time, the this. Uh, the cell above it, its bottom air bottom edge is also drawn. So I want to know the position of this cell so that I can make its bottom variable true. Okay, you can do it easily. If you want to find the position of the cell above it, we can do it like this. If index minus rows, okay. We are, if we just subtract the row from the value of row from this index, we can just get the index of the cell above it. Okay. Uh, then what we want to do is we want to make cells index minus rows first of all we will check if this great if the value is greater than equal to 0 if yes then i want to make it sides to be true okay but in case see here if we click the up arrow key 
the cell avoid its bottom edge is drawn so it has an index of 2 so we will make the 2 equals 2 now it's good okay so we have to do it for the all the four things all the four buttons so we have did it for this one we have to do it for right bottom and left also in the case of right the way we want to do is if uh, see if i click here and if i just draw the click the right button this right is drawn but at the same time this uh, the cell on the right of it its left is also drawn up so we can just do it like this if, if you just add one to the index we will get the uh, cell right to it okay but the problem is here if you click here and click the right array uh, right button right is drawn but the next index of will be of this particular uh, cell i don't want this one okay i i want if this is the last cell of this row i don't want to find the next index okay so that's what we have to keep in mind so you can do it like this okay uh, if index plus one okay and mod by calls columns is greater than zero then only we are going to do it okay uh, cells index plus one dot sides uh, since it's the left will become true we have to make the uh, value at three index to be true okay so we have to do it for the bottom it's also easy uh, we have to just copy these things and paste it here so to find the top cell about or the cell about we just subtracted row here we have to just add the row rows values okay but this time we don't we have to check if it's less than length of uh rows okay sorry length of cells okay why we are checking it for greater than zero if we get some negative index okay so it will start making the edges true from the last of the array because we know that in python negative indexes are allowed okay so here this time we have to check for the length of cells and this time we have to make our zero to be true that's it and for the left thing we have to just copy this line and paste it here it looks good okay so if index plus one uh, mod by calls is greater than zero uh, what we have to do uh, this time we have to uh, make index mod calls not index plus one okay so if it's already greater than zero when di when divided by calls we have to just make subtract one from it and we have to make one to be true okay so that's all currently this will not do anything on our game but it will do for the service okay we don't have to care about that now we can just draw things uh, we have some issue here if i click up it works right up works or down it draw the edge here so we have some issue in the bottom part okay so we have to check if index plus rows less than length of cells okay so we have to just uh, make sorry it should be plus one okay dot size equal to it. okay so if i click it top works left works right works bottom works yes so it works looks good now i want to know which player has spelled it okay so we can do it something like this uh suppose if uh i want to fill it with some color okay if all the edges has been drawn i want to make sure this thing has been drawn or i will just make this none variable too okay so we will create another variable here depth and it should be named as let's say check win okay self currently we are just passing self here so this method will help us to know if our cell has been completed so if not self dot winner okay so if currently our cell dot winner is equal to none uh, if self dot sides is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 let's say if it will just check if all the values of our uh, this cell dot size has become true then our self dot winner will become true okay currently we have to st we have to store the 
player okay which which player has completed current thing we are just making two so here you can do one more thing if self dot winner okay and what you can do is you can just draw a rectangle to make sure that this spell has been filled by game dot draw dot rect and we can use any color that we want let's say i want to fill it with red color okay so self dot rect so if any of the cells has been drawn it will be filled with the red color completed okay so oh it's not filled okay so it's not working okay i i think we have to do for check win we have to check for the winner here also we have not called this method that's why it's not working okay so we can just do it like this in the end we can just check for this check win so c cell dot check win and this time it should work currently there's no concept of player in uh, will be implementing our players in the next tutorial if we just complete the cell it it just gets filled with a color okay so it's it, it see it works if i just click the up arrow key right arrow key bottom arrow key the cell gets filled uh, we don't have to click the left arrow key because the left has been already drawn for this cell from this cell okay so it looks good it works in the next tutorial guys we'll be implementing our players okay we have two players for this game we will be implementing our players in the next tutorial so this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike you want to subscribe thank you see you in the next tutorial